Donald Trump has teased in a recent rally that he may be running for a second presidential term. This is Unbiased Tolay, and today we will be covering Donald Trump's possible return to the presidency. If you want to continue to stay up to date on the news of Trump's return, make sure that you subscribe and like the video if you enjoy. The former president told a crowd at an Ohio rally that he has a big announcement to make on November 15th, which is widely believed to be his re-election campaign. I'm going to be making a very big announcement on Tuesday, November 15th, at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida. The New York Times had reported that Trump had considered announcing his re-election campaign on Monday night but was asked by party leaders to hold off until after the midterms. Trump also insulted Republican Governor Ron DeSantis in a rally on Saturday night. Let's see, there it is, Trump at 71, Ron DeSanctimonious at 10%, Mike Pence at 7, oh Mike's doing better than I thought. This drew criticism from many Republicans, one said on Twitter that DeSantis was a more effective leader than Trump. Ben Shapiro also reacted to the clip by objecting that DeSantis was a more conservative leader than Trump. It's Ron DeSantis who has done yeoman's work in fighting both critical race theory and radical gender ideology in his state. In fact, over the weekend, the Florida Health Department banned transgender surgeries on minors in the state of Florida. Ron DeSantis has been an incredibly effective weapon on behalf of conservatism in the state of Florida. And Donald Trump is mad about this because he sees the possibility that DeSantis may have stolen some of his thunder and may, in fact, be a rival, especially because DeSantis has raised gobs and gobs and gobs of money, like upwards of $150 million for his gubernatorial race. There's going to be a lot in the kitty if DeSantis does decide to run. Do you think that Trump should run against DeSantis? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more news on further election news.